All right, in this video, we're going to finish up the Goomba. Previously, we had the Goomba who would move from the left and to the right uh, based on this. The last thing we need to do is have a collision between Mario and the Goomba. So let's get ready and uh, let's make that. So again, I'm going to say Mario is going to have a collision. There's collision and with the Goomba. One thing, uh, we're not going to change it here, but you can make a collision that just touches the edges or you can make it that it has to completely overlap. Uh, touching the edge is just fine. Um, so we'll say OK. But I just wanted to show that that was an option. So when Mario hits the Goomba, well, uh, what I want to do is Mario's going to die. And so we're going to say object Mario is going to be deleted. And I type in delete the object. But Mario is only going to be deleted if Mario is on the floor. So I need to also put that object Mario uh, is on the floor. So is on floor. So if Mario is on the floor and he touches the Goomba, um, we want to uh, delete Mario. And we're going to eventually have a system of lives. And so Mario should um, lose a life and the room should start back where Mario is. And I haven't done that, but that is something we're going to do in a future video. The next thing is if Mario is not on the floor, so let's add that event. Um, so I want to add this to the Goomba group here. And it's going to be the same thing. Object Mario is going to have a collision with the Goomba. And Object Mario um, is on the floor, but not. So not on the floor. So see where it says invert condition. I need to now swing that to say not. So the opposite of being on the floor. So if he's not on the floor, then the Goomba is going to be deleted. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go object Goomba and delete. Okay, um, now if you play it, one of the things that uh, we have in the real Mario game is Mario bounces. So if I wanted to make Mario bounce, you can leave it like this, but I think it's better that Mario bounces. And so what we're going to do to bounce is we're going to simulate a Mario jumping action. But you can see that Mario is on the floor and it's red, so it means not. So if Mario's not on the floor, I can't jump. So what I need to do here is there's an action to say object Mario um, can allow jumping again. So I'm going to click here where it says allow jumping. And it says when this action is executed, the object's able to jump even if it's in the air. And this can be useful if you want to make a double jump. Um, and it can, it's not a permanent effect. You must call this action again every time you want to allow the object jump. Uh, a part if it's on the floor. So if I want to make it jump and it's not on the floor to do a double jump, or in this case, I want to make it bounce, I need to allow jumping again. And so once I've allowed jumping, even though Mario's in the air and the Goomba is gone, uh, we can simulate object, and I type in here a simulate, oops, uh, simulate a uh, jump. So simulate a jump key uh, press. And that's it. And so now if I play the game here and if I get Mario to uh, land on top of the uh, Goomba, um, which I'll try to do here, and I don't know if you saw that, but I bounced. I didn't press the space bar. It just bounced. Great. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, that's it for the Goomba. Later on, we're going to um, add it so when he, uh, if he gets hit, the room will restart uh, in the start position. But that we're going to save till we do checkpoints. Stay tuned.